Hi, hello, well this is, uh, this will be a quick video about uh, several things actually, so how to import um, impacted area for a computer system, for a CI, um, so that was a question asked uh, in the community, and also, and uh, most importantly, how to create a job into Oticum Integrator and how to use it into UDM. Uh, because uh, actually I saw, I saw a lot of people saying that it was possible to do like a save as an actual job and using it but no real example, I, d I didn't see anything about it in the documentation so I figured that uh, well, after a while, well, I just uh, would have to try so I will just explain what is the idea is it here and um, well, just do like a quick demo from, uh, from the start so let's go so the idea here is um, to fill uh, this part, you know, into impacted areas for um, uh, CI. Here it's a computer system uh, because in the UDM spreadsheet transactional CI, you don't, you cannot fill the impacted area. You can fill uh, the department organization, but it's uh, actually something that is uh, from the asset and not from the CI or whatever. So anyway, we have to find a way to fill here. So uh, this table here uh, gets data from the form IST impacted areas. So, so far here, I got nothing inside of it. And so of course I don't have anything in the, in the form. So the idea is to, to fill an Excel file, to read it using uh, HCOM integrator, so if for A.1 or something, and to put data into uh, impacted areas. So for this, I created an Excel file um, if Excel wants to open, okay, just give me a moment, thank you, okay. So I created a very simple Excel file, Excel spreadsheet, uh, where some I well, have some information like company, region, seat group, seat, organization, department, ECI instance ID, CI reconciliation ID, configuration item ID. So basically here, uh, instance ID is the instance ID from the CI, reconciliation ID is the reconciliation ID from the CI, and the configuration item ID is actually the asset ID, so it's uh, like a CI name or whatever. So you can find all those information actually in the form impacted area, you know, company, uh, CI instance ID, reconciliation ID, this one is the asset ID. So it's a very simple Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I already filled it with uh, some uh, information for the CI I uh, just displayed, so the CS as in CS01, with organization and department from Calpro Services. So the idea is that at the end of the day, those um, two impacted areas will go to this uh, spreadsheet, to this uh, CI. So in order to do this, um <coughs> I need to create uh, uh, an Atrium integrator job. Because if you look, for example, at uh, integrator jobs that exist in the system, uh, for example, you have got uh, a job to load CIs into the CMDB. And uh, when you create a job, uh, I don't know if I can load. Uh, okay. In the task itself, you can see that uh, there is an Atrium integrator name, which is actually the job name of Atrium integrator that you will call. So the idea is just to find a way to make your job appear here because it's not automatic. I mean, if you create, for example, a job here uh, that is called LMA IA, uh, it won't appear automatically and it won't be available automatically into a Trium integrator for in into UDM. So what is the idea? The idea here is to take uh, an existing job because uh, we are completely lazy. So we need a job, as you can see here is a job, and the job calls a transformation, and the transformation is the uh, stuff in green here. And the transformation does actually load the spreadsheet, uh, get some variables, and import it into the spreadsheet. So I will begin completely by the start. So the idea is that I will load the um, repository. I'm sorry, it's in French, but it's nothing I can do. So here it's a transformation, so I need it. And I need the job for this one. And as you can see here, the job calls the transformation CI CMDB. So what is the idea? The idea is that I will begin by save as, uh, by duplicate, um, 
the job name, the job, the domain. Here we go. Uh, I don't have yet the transformation, so I don't not, I don't touch about it right now. So I will go on the transformation and do the same thing. I do just a save as to duplicate it, and then I just delete anything that uh, I don't want that is not useful for me. So uh, there are because uh, my job will be very simple. So I will just delete everything that uh, that is not interesting for me. Okay. And here I just need uh, to load the spreadsheet to get the variables. The variables are like uh, the job, the job company and things like this. So I want that. I want the variables. So I keep those two and I need one uh, export output. Output uh, is uh, meaning that uh, I will uh, insert data into the formula, into an R server formula. So I just delete everything else. It's not useful for me. No error trapping because it's not the scope of the um, of this video. Okay. Uh, here there is a um, part two, so I don't want that. Um, so I just want one. Okay, and I want to relate both. Uh, so what is after the variable? Okay. So here I got my core steps. I need uh, to load the spreadsheet, get some variables, and export to uh, an, RF, uh, an, RS, uh, an RS form. So we will begin by the Excel spreadsheet. I don't have to change anything in it because it's uh, by default. You need to be careful of the spreadsheet name because here it's not IST computer system, but it is, uh, of course I close the Excel file. It is AST IE. So you need to have the spreadsheet name, of course. So here I will put st. Okay. On the content, I don't change anything. On the field, I have to put the spreadsheet fields. So it's I have to put uh, company, region, seed group, seed organization, department, CIS instance ID, and uh, everything else in the um, in the same order. So we'll do just that. So company, then region, then seed group, then seat, then organization, department, CI instance ID, um, reconcile. ID configuration item ID. I only got one columns in my Excel spreadsheet, so I can just delete uh, the others. Okay, so I should be safe here. Company, region, C group, C, the organization, department, science ID, reconciliation ID. Okay, so everything is fine. So in get variable, I don't have to change anything because it's a uh, standard. And here, um, the first trick. Uh, by default, it's using a connection IRS IR server. And if you want to change the form, because mine it's not a load attribute, but it's um, impacted area, it will trigger an error because you cannot connect using the IR server connection. Because the IR server connection is the one that will be used at runtime, where you can give some variables, IR server, TCP port, on your server at, run at runtime. So in order to um, to load your formula, you have got to, for example, create a new connection. So for example, my local connection. Uh, and you give uh, all the information needed to connect. It will be only used to uh, create your job. So here I'm OK. And of course, you can test, and you'll see it works. Okay, so uh, the idea here is that I changed now in my uh, the formula I want to upload the data into. So it's uh, AST import impacted areas. So I'm fine, and now I got to associate the fields. 
So here it's uh, the one from the CMDB. I'm not interested into them, so I just delete uh, everything. I delete everything. And I map the values I'm interested in. So I'm interested into the company. So this is the form part. Uh, so I'm interested into the company. I'm interested into the region. So sales group. Seat. Organization. Department. Uh, CI instance ID, reconciliation ID, and the configuration item ID. Okay. This is, those are the fields from the form. And in the flux, it's uh, the form, it's uh, the ID, it's a column name from the Excel spreadsheet and the variables. So, for example, you can find here the job company. The job company will be taken from the um, Atrium at home from the UDM job. So for example, here when you open a job and you select a company, this will make into integrator into the variable uh, job uh, company. Yeah. So, but I don't want to use it. I want to use the uh, information from the spreadsheet. So it's a company. It's actually the same name. So, so it's group. It's it. Organization, Department, CI, Instance ID, Reconciliation ID, and Configuration Item ID. So I don't need those two ones. Okay, so I got nine. So on the left, the form fields, and on the right, uh, the variables and the spreadsheet column. So here I'm fine. And now, uh, don't forget, I can change back, I have to change back my connection to use the variable from the uh, from the job. So it's IR server. And you can see that it will take the variables sent by the Atrium Integrator, by the UDM job. So I'm fine. Uh, yeah, I should, s I should uh, change the title. Same thing here. Okay, we just check that I didn't uh, do okay. It's okay. So I save. And now that my uh, transformation is ready, I can go back to my job and say that I want to call this job. So I just have to change the job and I choose the one I just made. It changes automatically the name. And here we go. Well, Everything is ready right now on the Atrium Integrator side, unless I made uh, a mistake in the mapping or something. So mm, the goal is to make uh, the job available, the Atrium Integrator job available from UDM. But for that, you go to go to Data Management Job Console, uh, Atrium Integrator Jobs, and you declare your new job, simply. So for example, here, I never remember the name, so I just do save as to get the name. So. Uh, the type is a job, uh, the directory, uh, I don't care, I just look at, uh, I will show you, minimal. Uh, for log, I need an attachment, and I don't care about the data tags. So why the directory is this one and job? So job, it's because it's a job here. It's a job. This is transformation, and this is a job. Um, so why is the directory uh, this one? So it's created. Because all the others are like this, you know, if you open, for example, CS in DB and directory is uh, just a slash. So right now, uh, I should be safe. Uh, here is my job. So you can see it automatically made uh, some variables, some links. And um, you can add some new variables if you want. For example, in CS in DB, um, you have a ver local variable, dataset ID, for example. But I don't need that for my job. So here it's perfect. It's uh, standard, so I don't touch anything about it. And now what I will do is that I will create a job. 
So importing uh, EA. Uh, we'd say it for Calbo services. Save. I add the step because I don't have any templates about it, so I just add the step. Uh, I name it uh, this way. Uh, here it's uh, I want to load data. Uh, here it's uh, bogus, so just choose uh, anything. I don't care. We don't care. So here usually I take transactional change. And here it's very important. It's where Atrium integrator name. It's where you choose the um, your Atrium integrator job. So here you choose it. You choose your Excel spreadsheet. So here it's already uploaded on my system, so I just want it. Okay, I don't have to change anything about it. When I come back to the job, I can see you can see that you have got only a load step and not a validate and promote. It's normal because in your case in our case we don't have a validate and promote because we send already the data to a single formula. So it's not very clean maybe, but uh, at least we don't care because we just load it to one single formula and we don't care about the rest. So here we are fine. We want to um, to build it, and we want to run it. So before running, here it's a log file from uh, our cart from Atrium Integrator. Uh, so let's just run the job, and hopefully it will work. Okay, so here it doesn't, it doesn't crash. That's already something. So it went in progress. Uh, here if I go and uh, refresh, you can see that it launched uh, the job, uh, LMA IE new, and it finished it. Okay. And actually here it's still on progress. So why is it still on progress? It's because the job is actually very fast. And uh, actually here it's already completed. So here it's a job 307. If I go back and completed, uh, you can see that actually my job 307 is completed. So it finished. So here my just my load step is finished. So it means that uh, everything was loaded. So we just go back on the form in packed the rear and check. We can see with that we have got our two uh, records. And here, if I refresh my CI, I can see that now I got my two impacted areas as my um, in my CI. So it was just a quick demo to show you uh, how to actually uh, duplicate a job, an existing one, and make it useful, uh, make it appear, and make it used into UDM uh, quite easily. And it works quite well. If you want, you can do it. The, you can do the job and the transformation from scratch. But I find it more interesting duplicating an existing job because you just have all everything, every step, have the variables and things, so you don't have really to, you know, tweak something or forget something and whatever. So if there are some problems, you can check into the aircart loading. Uh, for example, here it was like a, a previous test, and uh, when there is a problem on upload, you can see it uh, go right away. And on my previous test, for example, um, I hope I didn't delete it. Uh, yeah. For example, here you can see you could see I had an error. It was on one of my previous tests. Uh, the error was coming from uh, because um, could not find IST computer system in the spreadsheet. So why it was because I forgot at the time in the uh, Excel uh, part, I forgot to change the spreadsheet name. It was not IST IA, but uh, IST computer system. So anyway, it will be quite easy to follow. Uh, and uh, well, as you could see, in the end, it was quite easy to do and uh, to do save as it. You were just make missing a few steps so to make it appear in the DM. So pretty much easy. Uh, I guess now if you want to create your own validate and promotion, it's uh, totally another F3, I guess. Uh, well, but it's not really the scope of uh, this particular video. So anyway, uh, that's all for now. And uh, I wish you a very nice weekend.